What's up, guys? <clears throat> so, you know, with all the crazy YouTube shorts going around, and there are other YouTubers covering this topic, yeah, it might seem redundant. However, I stress these rules, you know, big time, and so we're just going to go over them again. That so, without further ado, guys, let's get to the four safety rules of firearms. Rule number one with firearms. Always treat a firearm as if it is loaded. As you can see, we never use live ammunition, anything like that, unless we're at the range in a controlled area. So many people do get tend to get too comfortable, and then they think they're okay to screw around, and then what happens, there's a terrible incident that transpires. Um, it's important to teach this to younger and the youth. You know, these types of skate, safety skills, discipline, etiquette, whatever you want to call it are incredibly important. It's, it's very important to teach our children that they are as well for safety. Anytime you're handling a firearm, always treat it like it's loaded. I always eject the mag. I always also pull the slide back, check the breech. You can even check with your finger to verify this. Great habit to get into as far as handling firearms goes. And that is it for rule number one. Rule number two, never point the muzzle of your firearm at anything you are not willing to destroy. Everybody says, oh yeah, you know, that's just common sense. Unfortunately, there isn't common sense. As you can see, we've seen on YouTube shorts and throughout the internet. That's it. So the, the uh, responsibility anytime you pick up a firearm, point it in a safe direction, away from a crowd, even if it's in a gun store, it doesn't matter, whatever. I mean, there's no exceptions to this rule. Uh, if you want to look down the barrel, either look down through the breech or disassemble it, your firearm, field strip it down, and then inv inspect your barrel that way. Never point it at yourself regardless. Just so, never point it at anything you do not wish to destroy. I believe that sums it up there. Rule well, number three, keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target and you are ready to fire. Whether it be practicing and drawing from your holster, getting that discipline down, whether you're working on firearm maintenance, adding new accessories to your gun, or even when you're at the range and you have pistol malfunctions, always practice trigger discipline, keeping your finger off the trigger. This is the most important step, I believe, opinion-wise. Until you're ready to shoot, keep your finger off of that thing. Once you're ready to start blasting away that target or whatnot, go for it. Making it look like buddy, buddy. Yes, which leads us to rule number four, always be sure what is beyond your target. Recklessly discharging a firearm without knowing your surroundings can cause issues like this. Hey, I'm from the ghetto, bitch. Uh, one huge misunderstanding a lot of people don't realize, and I really think it's sad I have to say this, when they're sitting there firing firearms up in the air or whatnot, those bullets have to fall down somewhere. I don't think these guys really understand how gravity works, but um, maybe, I don't know, I don't know. It's just a lost hope and cause. Anyways, that wraps it up for rule number four. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Also check me out on Patreon, Rumble, Instagram. Take care.